Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. We had a good time on Sunday night. Oh, it was awesome. It was a few of us, but we brought the New Year in great. So today, I'm doing Psalms 100. Shout for joy to the Lord. All the earth, worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful singing, knowing that the Lord is good. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter in his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endure forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Amen. Amen. This is the moment to let God in and to just give all your courage to God. Let him just work inside of you. Heavenly Father, this is your daughter Earth. Come to you once again. <laughs> Just asking you to just look after everybody, God. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. whatever they going through, God. Yeah. Just God. show up and show out, God. Yeah. You know how I come to you and just put everybody name for our church, for people yeah. on the outside of the church. Just everybody, God. You know, I can't name them all, but God, I'm just asking you just show up and just show out, God. We need you right now, God. Yeah. Man, we need you, even though we don't think we do. We need you, God. I'm asking you, God, just to show up in our lives, God, so we can just be respectable to one another, God, so some of this tragedy can stop happening, God. I'm grateful that you just come into my life, God. Let me be a part of to help other people, God, to let them see on the outside, God, so I can just help somebody else, God. God, I just thank you just for being who you are, God, with just just you, just you and you by yourself, God. Thank you for introducing me to your son, God, so I can come to you, God. Just slowly, not trying to do too much, God. God, just I just want to say thank you, God, and just look thank after you, everybody God. again. Thank don't you, leave nobody God. out. Yes, Even though we think God. we got it, we don't got it. Just, yes. God, thank we need you, God. Amen. Man, just look after everybody again. Thank you, amen. 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 God. Get back up again. God. You know, it's almost like, remember when you was a kid and you were yes. riding your first bike <laughs> right. and oh you fell God. down, you know, you started crying, maybe right. you scraped the knee right. or whatever, but your parents told you to get back up again yes. and get back up. Yeah. Yes. You know, and eventually you mastered yeah. riding that bicycle. Amen. You know, the same way in life, you know, we, we, we fall down quite a few times. Yes, ma'am. But the thing about it is, we have to learn how to get back up again yes. and keep on going. Yes, God. You know, you got to master it. Don't, 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 don't let, don't let your failures on, master man. you. Come on, man. That's right. You know, learn to master your failures. Amen. Because as long as you can get back up again, there's always a new day. Yes. There's always another chance. Yes. If you just get back up again. Don't 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 let don't let failure Come on, Dad. really discourage you. Okay. Get back up again. You know, in order to succeed, first you must fail. Come on. And we got a lot of success stories in here, but you know, I'm, I'm quite sure we got a lot of failures too. Right. Amen. 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 And you know, we got a lot of success stories because we've learned how to fail. When we failed, we didn't just stay there. Right, right, right. We got back up. Yes. And we started moving oh, again. So that's what, what, what Donnie McClurk is trying to get across to folks to do it. His message and his ministry to music is that, you know, yes, we do fall down, but we get back up. Amen. We got to rise back up again. Amen. No matter what life throws at you, yes. rise back up again. Because he said, what he said it best, for a saint. It's just a sinner who fell down. 
We're all saints, right? we call ourselves, but we forget sometimes that we're all sinners. Right. And that we fall down. Yeah. But if you're a saint and you're a sinner and you fall, then you know you, you got to get back up. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Thank you for that, Brother Derek. Rise back up again. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to be back in the house of the Lord. Yeah. It's good to be uh, standing before you this morning. Amen. Amen. God's been good. Okay. I can't complain about nothing. God's been too good. Uh, we're embarking on a, this first Sunday of January 2018. Amen. I just thank God that we're all here this morning. Amen. 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 You know, we, we could have been somewhere else. <laughs> and I ain't saying at home laying in your bed asleep. Amen. You might be asleep, but you might not be waking back up. Amen. So, you know, we thank God for life. Yes. We thank God for the new year. We thank yes. God for this 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 prosperous year, new year. We're going to thank him in advance for what he's yes. about to do in this new year. Amen. Amen. You know, people got to, you know, you, you got to have expectations. Yeah, you you got to yeah. want something to happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, uh, too many people have gotten complacent. Yeah, you know, we, we, have, we have to want something. We got to expect something. Yes, hallelujah. You know? Hallelujah, God. 2018. Yeah. I'm not trying to bring 2017 over here. That's right. That's right. 2017 that's right. is just that that's past. Right. That's, that's a previous year. That's a past year. Amen. 2018 starts a whole new year, which means it starts a whole new year. Amen. Amen. January 7th, 2018. Mind, 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 mind. Don't, don't blink, y'all, because we'll be talking about December 31st, 2018. Before you know, you know, don't, don't blink. You know, we, we, the spring and summer passes right on by. Amen. We'll be sitting there man, this shit sure didn't go by fast. So you know we went another day, another we gotta hopefully pray for God and we another year of birthdays, amen. The elder celebrated the birthday this week, January second, amen. Yeah. 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 Eighty two years old, we pray for we thank God for that, amen. Amen. You know, eighty two. And that's that's man, you know, I mean, you know, wow. and Lord that promised you number seven. Wow. Amen. 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 Man, reach where he only promised you seven. Really? Seven schools. That's all he promised you. Seven zero. Ooh. Anything over after that? Thank you, mighty star. Thank God each and every day. Thank God each and every day. I was. I got uh, word the other day that uh, uh, when I was at Vashon High School, one of my counselors, her name was uh, Geneva Richardson, Miss Richardson. We called Miss Richardson. She was real, real nice lady. And Miss Richardson was 94 years old. Was in a nursing home. And I don't know if you all heard about it in the news or whatever. She was the uh, lady that the uh, her caregiver killed. Her. Uh, yeah, she was 94 years old. And uh, I, I, I saw that the other day, and they sent me an email about Miss Rich, and I'm like, man, you gotta be kidding me. You know, wow. her caregiver is the one that uh, killed her. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna keep the Rich and family in prayer. Amen. 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 She was a great. She was a great woman. She was a good woman. She helped a lot of a uh, lot of us. You know. With colleges and whatnot, but a lot of, you know, back in that day in the set, when a lot of, unless you got a, a straight up scholarship, wasn't nobody thinking about going to college or trying to go to college, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we all down in, in, in projects and everywhere else and, and within the city and in the, in the, in the cities, you know, goodwill, your parents can't afford to send you to no college. So, you know, either you, you sent your, worked your way through, through college or, like most of us, went to the military, went to college for free. So, that's the way it goes. I uh, thank God that uh, things have changed. Amen. That's right. Amen. Thank God things have changed. Yeah. And you know how we do it all YLM? A busload of politicians were driving down a country road. When all of a sudden the bus ran off the road and it crashed into a tree in an old farmer's field. Now the old farmer, after seeing what had happened, he went over to investigate. He then proceeded to dig a hole to bury all the politicians. <laughs> A few days later, the local sheriff came out, he saw the crash bus, and he asked the old former where all the politicians had gone. The old former said, I buried them. The sheriff asked the former, were they all dead? The former said, well, some of them said they weren't. But you know how them politicians lie. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. 
<laughs> Say it like you mean it. This, this is my Bible. Bible. This is my God. The Word of God. And who I don't trust. trust. Shut the front door. Right. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if he was on that bus. <laughs> Yeah, evidently not, because he's right. still up there in Washington, D.C. Right, right, right. He must have missed that book. Right. <laughs> oh, man. If you would turn your Bibles to the book of Psalm, Psalm 90, Psalm 90, uh, starting at verse 10. And I'm only going to read 10, 12, and 14, just so you know. Psalm 90, starting at verse 10. I want to read 10, 12, 14. <laughs> and this is uh, uh, Moses talking in his song, through his song. Amen. Right, Psalm 90, and I'm starting at 10. And I want to read 10, 12, and 14. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to read out the NIV. And the word of God reads us thus. Psalm 9, starting at 10. Our days may come to 70 years or 80 if our strength endures. Yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. 12. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. And 14. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that we may sing for joy and be glad in all our days. May be seated in the presence. <laughs> Amen. Just briefly, you all, this morning, briefly, briefly, just want to talk about, and that's the subject, about time. About time. About time. <laughs> There's at least one thing you and I all have in common. And that's that God has given each of us the same amount of time each day. We each have 24 hours. And each hour has 60 minutes. And each minute has 60 seconds. That's one thing we, every last one of us in here have in common. From, from children to adults, we all have the same amount of time. God gave, nobody has 26 hours in a day. That's true. Oh, Nobody has 24 and a half hours. Oh, we all have the same amount of time. But how do we use the time that God has given to us? One of the hardest things we need to do each day is to use God's gift of time wisely. And how many of us really use our time wisely? Moses make some interesting observations in this psalm. Especially here in verses 10, 12, and 14, he speaks about them. And he speaks about time. So point number one, I want to talk about recognizing the time. Because in verse 10, in verse 10, G, I mean, Moses says, our days may come to 70 years or 80. Now, we just recognize they ought to turn 82. Come on. All right. Amen. Because God only said, I'm only going to give you 70, but the best is yet to come. Because there's sometimes some of us are going to go beyond the 70 years. Amen. He didn't say everybody was going to. That's why he promised you 70 years. He didn't say at 70 you were going to die. All right. All right. He just said, I promise you seven schools. He gave you 70 years. He didn't say at 70, you die. Because that's not what the word says. Right. It just says he promised you 70 years. And anything after that, we should be thanking our lucky stars and saying hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Each and every day. Because according to the Bible, the average lifespan is only 70 years. And that's what the word says. But sometimes, especially in America today, a person may receive even a few more years along the world. Amen. Thank God. They are 82 years old. Wow. Some people see 90, 94. Some people see 100. 
Amen. Some people go beyond the hundred. But nobody will ever see 900 again. That's right. That's right. Amen. I don't think nobody's going to see 200. Amen. But when we got this time to recognize the time that God has given us, no matter how long we live, it's not long at all. Because our time will be up. We're only here for a short while. And even though we say, you know, man, 84, the man, they show, he show is old. Really not. The little time that we have here is just that little time. But in that little time that you had down here, how did you use it? Did you really recognize the time that God gave to you was so precious that he gave you 24 hours and all we worry about is working for eight of those and some of us want to go to a second job and work another four? So you didn't work half of the day and half of the time that God has given you out your 24, you didn't work for that for some man. Now, out of them 12 or out of them 24, how much time did you give God? We work for everybody else, but did we recognize the time that was given to us was given to us by God and supposed to be used for God? We recognize our time that we gotta we gotta spend it on everything else. Work, play, vacations. We, we spend time on everything. But how much time does God get? 24 hour a day. And some of us have a, have a fit to just come and give God just a couple of hours. He's just on Sunday. Amen. Seven days out of a week. <laughs> Damn, am I right, bro? 148 hours. 148 hours. We can't even give him two of his time. The time he gave us. Because we, 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 we got our prioritization is, is so beyond him. Think about it. We do everything throughout the week and on Sundays and on the weekend. How much time does God give? Well, Pastor, you know, it takes money to live. You know, can't live without money. Well, you know, I know, I know you can't live without money, but you sure can't live without God either. I can't. You're trying off a hog. But I think it's time for people to recognize the time that we have is so precious because the time you have today can be taken away from you tomorrow. The time you lost today, you can't get back. You can't go and put time on layaway. You know, like you do your clothes and your Christmas toys and all of that. You can't put your time on layaway. Then go get it out. When that time is gone by, it becomes past. Just like 2017. It's past. You can't go over and capture nothing from 2007. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna even go to 2017. You can't even go and recapture 1030. That's right. You can't. It, 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 that time is gone. It's not like we can walk, we, we don't, we, as a matter of fact, are there, do we have any time travelers in here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Amen. I, I mean, if you do, take me with you. But some things I need to change. Amen. Amen. 
because you can't walk back into time. Oh my. No, sir. Time just goes, that's why the clock doesn't go counterclockwise, it goes clockwise, it goes forward. The time don't go backwards. When I'm 24 up, it's a new day. At midnight, it don't say, wait a minute, hold up, I, I think you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you another minute. You, you, you forgot something at, at 11.59. We're going to go back. Let you, let, let, you, let you make up for it. No. It goes right to midnight. New day. Recognizing the time. Then you got to, point number two, you got to redeem, you know how to redeem in the time. Moses recognized the need for proper use of time. Do we recognize the use of a, a, a proper time? If we did, we'd be, we'd be redeeming it more often for the Lord. Amen. Our time should be spent acknowledging the brevity of time and the need to use our time wisely, which we don't do most of, people. The most important thing we can do with our time is what? Please God. How many of us are pleasing our time? I mean, pleasing God with our time. And you know, and I'm not saying that all the time that, you know, you ain't got to spend your days in, in church 24-7. That's not what I'm saying here. But how many, much of your time is spent pleasing God instead of pleasing somebody else? There's so many ways you can please God with your life. By using, utilizing the time that he's given you properly and wisely. We got to start learning how to use this time that he's given us and stop taking it for granted. And start learning how to please God with the time that he's given us. To acknowledge him. A lot of people don't, don't study like they should. We should be in the word every day. Spend some time with the Lord. Help somebody. Be a blessing to somebody. Be pleasant. Every time negativity comes out your mouth, every time you know something that, that's just not positive comes from you, that's 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 time taken away. <laughs> because your time is not pleasing him with that. So how do you redeem this time? You gotta first recognize the need for the proper use of your time. You can't redeem nothing if you can't recognize the proper use of it. So how can you recognize time and redeem your time? By number three, you got to learn how to rejoice through the time. Amen. You know, the sooner we find the mercy of God in Christ and we satisfy that mercy of all our days, the happier we will be. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this what. The word mercy here refers to God's love, you all. Okay. <laughs> And we have to always remember that nothing, please remember this. I really want y'all to remember this. Remember that nothing, nothing can separate you from that love of God. Come on. Nothing. Man. The only thing that separates you from the love of God is you. Come on. Stop blaming people. Stop blaming the church. Stop blaming your children. Stop blaming... What, what else? Don't know, can't nobody separate you from the Lord but you. That's right. We got to learn how to rejoice through the time. Even when the time that we have is not a good time. Amen. Right. Come on now. Amen. Yeah. Because nobody said that all your time was going to be good. Uh oh, that's right. Amen. That's right. Huh. Okay. God says, I gave you 24 hours. All right. That's right. All right. He didn't say 24 hours is going to always be good. That's right. Thank you, God. So you got to learn how to re re recognize your time and redeem your time, but then you got to learn how to rejoice in the times of difficulty. Yes. In, in the times of trial. Yes. In the times of frustration, depression. Can we learn how to rejoice when we just don't feel like it? Uh -oh. yeah. 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 Right. Can we give God a hallelujah? Hallelujah. hallelujah. 
when we just don't feel like saying thank you. Thank you, God. Come on. Thank you. Can we give God an I love you? Yes. When we just don't feel like loving nobody. Come on. That's right. Rejoicing through time. Yes. God never promised you that all 24 of your hours are going to be happy, happy, happy. He just said you got 24 hours in a day. Amen. I gave you 24 hours for you to use it wisely and properly. He's trying to get us to understand that even through the bad, I'm still here. Whatever you face, I'm still here. No matter how good or how bad your time is, I'm still here. I said I'd never leave you nor forsake you. I haven't went nowhere. You forsake me. You left me. How many of us have left the Lord and forsaken the Lord for the world? Because we tell you that was it was a better time and a better place at that particular time. Amen. What you going through right now, what you facing right now, are you rejoicing? Hallelujah. God is good. And it's about time that we realize how good he really is. Amen. About time. What about time? How are you utilizing the time that you have? Are you really making good of the time that you have every day? Start thinking about God sometimes. Amen. And just give him just, just give him some of your time. God already knows we 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 are human beings. We have busy lives. We have we have we have busy our time is 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 is, is limited because we limit our time. Amen. But God just said, you know, just like he asked for you to have faith of a mustard seed. That's probably all the time he's asking you for. I just need a little I just need a little of your time. At least, at least let me know you're thinking about me. Amen. I'm always thinking about you. If I wasn't, you'd be crazy and out of your mind by now. But I'm always thinking about you because I'm always there for you. Amen. So I want to thank God this morning for letting us be in our rightful minds. Amen. Amen. Because some of us could have woke up crazy this morning. Amen. And some of us think we do wake up crazy. Amen. 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 <laughs> And you know what? I, I just be thankful. And you know, I I, I look at I look at her and her and her, her and uh, Derek and, uh, and Kingston, and I know I, I know he at that age now he just giving them blues. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> but we've all experienced that. Yeah. Amen. Matter of fact, we 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 went through that. We gave our parents the blues. Amen. 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 And I, I think back I think back on how fortunate we were, because I say, man. I see a lot of young people today, they got one, two, maybe three tops. I'm thinking my mama had ten. Then she wasn't she wasn't doing, she went on when they had three more. I said, then my daddy go bring a couple of more in and that made fifteen. Wow. I say fifteen kids. And see that that when that, that, that era, we they, they were like, they were like back to back to back to back to back to back to back. I'm like, oh my God. I don't know how to do it. Because every time, almost every other year or every year, we were looking at another child. And where, where they coming from? I mean, is there a department store? You know, where, you know I'm, try, I'm trying to figure out where, where all these kids coming from. You know, I mean, you going out, they coming from Woolworths or what? Right, right. Woolworths, yeah. Maybe this boy got a sale on them. What's going on? Because it seems like every year, Mama disappeared for a little bit. Come back. Got a whole nother. Where, where this one come from? Next year. Same thing. 
got to start figuring something out here. But when you're small, and I'm going to say we got to, our time, we got to be so rejoiceful. Because, man, time is so precious. Because before they know it, he'll be ready to graduate from high school. And be talking about, man, where did that time go? I miss those days. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy these precious moments we have that we call life. Learn how to rejoice through the times that we have that are not pleasant. Thank God for the time that he's allowed us to have. Amen. Because if it had not been for the Lord and his grace and mercy, where would our time be? What would we have time for? We wouldn't even have time for one another. Amen. See, that's one of the things we talk about time of pleasing God. Man, spend time with one another, spend time together on Sunday mornings talking with each other, whether texting, email, whatever, just being pleasant to one another, using your time wisely, pleasing God. Again, when we talk about that, we're not saying you got to be uh, holy than thou and you got to be in church Monday from noon up to sundown. No, that's not what I'm saying. Use your time wisely because he, he, he gave you that time. That's your time. Not mine. My time might not be like your time. Amen. Just like our time is not like his time. Amen. Nobody in here has the same time. Nobody in here is on the same schedule. Nobody here has the same problems right now. We might and not know it. But you're not going to handle them the same. So let's, let's thank God and, and learn about time and how we can better utilize the time that God is so precious to give us. Amen. Amen. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel.